Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at how to plot the derivatives of a signal with discontinuities. Specifically, we will learn how to plot them in MATLAB. So, plot them in plot them in MATLAB. Recall that for a continuous signal, for example, a triangle signal, the derivative is well defined. That means, uh, for example, if you want to find the derivative of this part of the triangle signal. Uh, we can directly apply the definition of the derivative. So, assuming that this separation is the value h and then this point is uh, t. So, the derivative by definition is d by dt of the signal x of t and which is from the definition of the derivative limit h tends to 0 x of t plus h minus x of t divided by h. So, that is the definition. Now based on this definition we can actually approximate this derivative using discrete representation that is uh, for example if you want to find the derivative in MATLAB we need to have a discrete representation of the signal and then we have to have some kind of approximate formula for this derivative. So that can be defined as follows. So again consider the triangle signal now for finding the approximation we only have access to these discrete values we don't have access to all the values of the signal so we have to find the derivative uh, for example let us say this is point n and this is point n plus 1 so we have to find the value of the signal from x of n and x of n plus 1 so the approximation that is the derivative of the signal dx by dt is approximately given by the difference that is x of n plus 1 minus x of n and divided by the gap between these two values that is uh, n plus 1 minus n that is 1 multiplied by the sampling length that is uh, say for example h. So that will give us a, an approximation or h is usually equal to delta t so uh, that is sampling length interval. So h is basically delta t that is like a sampling interval. Now when we are talking about this continuous signals this approximation usually works. For example, we can look at that in this following code. Now we have this code uh, for plotting the triangle function and also its derivative. So we usually, uh, uh, we can easily see that, we can easily, uh, we can easily see that the derivative of this triangle is given by this uh, square wave of single period. So the uh, slopes are is equal to 1 and minus 1 in both the periods. So I mean the slope is actually 1 in the first half and minus 1 in the second half. So that means the derivative can be easily computed and since we are talking about a continuous signal uh, the derivative is easily calculated by using the discrete approximation. Now let us look at a signal where we have uh, discontinuities in the signal itself and then uh, and we will learn how to find its derivative using discrete approximations. Okay, let us look at this square wave we can clearly see that uh, there are several discontinuities in the signal. Now, how do we find the uh, derivative using the uh, discrete approximation? So, in this case, by applying this, this is the y of t signal. So, by to, to approximate this derivative of y of t uh, using the discrete approximation, uh, for example, by using y of n plus 1 minus y of n and then divided by this delta t, that is 1 into delta t. So, this one does not give a uh, valid approximation because this difference is very strong and this difference is very small and this delta t is very small and this uh, difference is actually very large so this one is very large and this is not a not meaningful approximation so in that case what we have to do is we can approximate the derivative for this discontinuous signal for this discontinuous signal that is we can approximate the derivatives of the signal at these discontinuities by simply looking at the difference at that point that is y of n plus 1 minus y of n that is we just look at the difference at those discrete uh, at those discontinuous points and then we can uh, use that difference as the derivative so recall that in a previous video we have already looked at how to plot a square wave so what we do is we just apply uh, this discrete approximation to the square wave uh, at those discontinuities and we do not divide with the sampling uh, interval that is length of the sampling interval so then we get the derivative uh, of the square wave more accurately so recall this square wave and then we have its derivative that is uh, it will have non-zero derivative only at the discontinuities and everywhere else the value is like a constant so the derivative is zero. So mm, 
So at these discontinuities, we have these impulses. So clearly, in the uh, at the positive changes, they have positive impulses, and then at the negative changes, they have negative values for the derivative. So this is how we can plot the derivative of a signal with discontinuities using MATLAB. To summarize, in this video, we have looked at the derivatives of signals with discontinuities. So for example, uh, for a continuous signal, it is easy to find the derivative using the approximation. We start with the original definition of the derivative and then we can approximate from the definition itself using a discrete approximation. That means if you have access only to the discrete values, we can find that approximation for the derivative by using the ratio of the difference between two consecutive values divided by the sampling interval. So in this case, we will get the approximate derivative. But if the signal has discontinuities, for example like a square wave, there are several discontinuities, that is there is a sudden change in the value and the change is too large uh, to apply the original approximation. So what we do is, uh, we cannot apply this approximation, that is uh, difference between the values divided by the sampling interval is, is not a meaningful approximation. So what we do is, we redefine the approximation as derivative at these discontinuities will be equal to y of n plus 1 minus y of n we don't we basically ignore the sampling interval so in that case uh, this difference will be a meaningful approximation for the derivative and for finding this discrete difference or discrete approximation what we do is we apply the difference function and diff function in matlab and what we get is the derivative of the square wave that is basically a discrete approximation of the derivative of the square wave which actually is pretty good thanks for watching